I've heard about cloud computing and technology in the classroom, but what does that really mean? I see my student using their device to do their homework, but how do they use them in the classroom? What is different about learning English or history or math using this new technology and accessing the cloud? The MVLA Foundation invites you to hear from our students and staff about the many ways that cloud learning and digital devices are enhancing teaching and learning for all of our students. By integrating technology, it engages students, it helps them connect to real world experts, and it truly allows real-time feedback for the student as an individual to engage in their learning and understanding process instead of just waiting for the teacher to tell them if they're on the right track or not. Prior to just a few years ago, students who wanted to do research, wanted to find sort of quality information, would have to come to the library and access the materials and the resources that we had in that physical space. But now with technology, students carry the library with them in their laptop. Now that we have Chromebooks, they're amazing. They're really light. The battery lasts eight hours. Students are in our Google domain, and so they each have their own email address, an mvla.net uh, email address, and they're also in the Hapara Teacher Dashboard. So with Hapara Teacher Dashboard and the Google Drive and Docs, I can send certain students the same activity, but maybe ramp up the type of assignment, the critical thinking involved to challenge those at the AP level and then simplify the language for those kids who are struggling. The control is always in my hand. I feel like I have more control over what they're seeing, what they're doing when they get things. And for students, they're learning the organization that's gonna be the organization that they're gonna need to know. It's pretty unlikely that they'll be using big binders in college. And being able to talk about that stuff in the classroom and build that in as a natural part of what we're doing uh, is important for students to be prepared for these new organizational skills. And the Chromebooks are there to support students that need a little more of a notes outline or need to be able to look up a word uh, while I'm giving a lecture because they're not sure what homeostasis means, even though we're using it, helping them uh, understand that it's totally okay not to know, and then empowering them to look it up for themselves. Uh, I think it makes students feel more comfortable and more safe. I can see in real time who's struggling with a concept and who gets it. So the person who's struggling with a concept can get face one-on-one -on -one time with me, which didn't happen last year. I was up at the board a lot and I was trying to get everyone to understand, but I didn't get that immediate feedback about who really needed the help, who really um, needed some extra time with me. 18 out of 20 of my students in my first period class used those Chromebooks that were given to us by the foundation. And if they didn't have it, my curriculum, bring your own device, wouldn't work. It democratizes the classroom. Right? Every voice gets heard immediately. Even if you're repeating the idea of someone else, you did it independently. So you're doing it all at once. That also gives the teacher an opportunity to have a really quick check for understanding that's super efficient. So you can kind of go back and forth between this whole class, independent, pairs, groups, in a really fluid way that's giving the teacher way more information than they used to be able to get in a, in a traditional classroom discussion. It's also creating a lot more confidence for the students. During class time, it's great for like group work and projects like that. Uh, teachers just send you all the documents you need to read and send you all the, all the worksheets you need to com like complete. And it's just very quick, simple, and easy. For the Chromebook, like it's always there for you. You just need to log in, sign in, and everything is saved. That's really important too, because for old systems, like you had to always remember to save after you do your stuff. In Google Drive, it just saves automatically. It's been a lot easier to organize things on Google Drive. Everything's in a nice folder, and I don't have to search around my backpack. It's all in one place, my laptop. and. Um, if I were to forget something, it would actually be as simple as uh, borrowing a laptop from the um, from the school and like just pulling it up from there. Well, I really enjoy the fact that it's really easy to collaborate with people um, when you're sharing our work between everybody. It's it's easy to just you can actually type it up into a group document so everyone can have their own notes. If you need to break something up, you can just 
one person does one section, another person does another section, and you can all add that into the same Google Drive. Everyone has to participate, so kids that we usually don't hear their ideas from as much because they're either shy or don't think of it as fast, um, get time to like think about what they want to say and then put it on the forum so we can all read over each other's thoughts. After school, it's really easy to go on our teachers' websites and see what the homework was. They even post, um, a lot of my teachers post the uh, lectures or presentations that they had going on in class online. So if you ever want to review something, you can simply just click a button and you can be like, oh, that was what we learned in class. Um, also, if you missed out on a day, it's really easy to go on their website and learn things like that. What she'll do is you'll go in um, and you'll tell her, I missed this day, I'll need to revise and she will um, make sure that your document is in your drive, that it's been sent to your drive, and then what you'll do is you'll fill it out and then you'll turn it into turnitin.com. She'll know that it's late, um, but obviously because if you are absent, you'll get full credit for it. Thanks to your generous support, the MVLA High School District has taken an exciting step on a multi-year journey into 21st century digital teaching and learning.